I don't think I ever felt at home before I came to Berlin. I think I quite easily felt out of place in Israel. If you ask me where my home is, then I will say Berlin, because I feel I belong here. Gal Ben Moshe was born in 1985 in Tel Aviv. His parents divorced when he was 15. In the same year, he began working in a fish factory and soon decided he'd like to train as a chef. Gaben Moshe worked in Tel Aviv, London, and Chicago before moving to Berlin in 2012 with a view to opening his own restaurant. My life revolved around food like since, since I remember myself. My, my mom has like the funniest stories about me being three year old and ordering a shrimps filled for well in a restaurant with uh, almond sauce. Yeah, no kids meal for me. Or uh, sitting with a breakfast table eating the cereals with, uh, with cookbooks like looking at the pictures and eating. And when I basically started reading, uh, I already started cooking. Berlin's Charlottenburg district is an affluent residential neighborhood, home to lots of celebrities, politicians, and diplomats. Galvin Moshe's restaurant is in a side street on the ground floor of an apartment block from the 1970s. The premises used to house a gym. Glass opened in 2013. Gabin Moshe came up with the interior design himself. He wanted to give his eatery the feel of a modern bistro. The kitchen is behind a mirrored screen. Turbot with frique is one of the restaurant's signature dishes. Israel is a country with many different cultures. Jewish, Muslim, Christian, Arab, African. Immigrants from Eastern Europe and the US also live there. This diversity is reflected in the cuisine. Israeli cuisine is a mixture of Mediterranean, European, North American, and local Arab influences. Frique is a cereal made from green durum wheat. It contains plenty of minerals, so it's considered to be very healthy. Friki is a Palestinian wheat that is harvested a bit early and in order to get it to a ripened condition where you can eat it and cook it, it's basically roasted on an uh, open flame, on charcoals, giving it, um, it's green because it's a bit unripe and it gets this smokiness from the charcoal that gives it something a bit different in flavor. Gal Ben Moshe likes to experiment. He's a sort of culinary artist who likes to create new and unusual dishes. Mushrooms, herbs, and smoke mixed in a jar. He calls this dish forest in a glass. He got the idea while walking through the woods. Gal Ben Moshe gets his inspiration wherever he can. He sees himself as a chef who blends the modern with the traditional. Food is very central in Israel. We surround ourselves with food and restaurants and, and eating out and, cult and, and I think it's a very co important cultural thing. Probably the favorite form of entertainment. At Glass, there is no a la carte. Instead, diners get to choose from two menus, one with five courses, the other with seven. Guy Ben Moshe creates a new menu every month and serves up his culinary delights five days a week. Hello, good evening. A blend of preserved lemon, uh, country potatoes, and black olives. Enjoy. I am Michel Turbot in Kuwait, Bamia, Friki, and Agvaniot. Betevon.